Left-sided heart failure is a heart condition where the muscle on the left side of the heart is diminished and the pump doesn't work to the body. Left-sided heart failure is defined not as a disease, but a process. Left-sided heart failure occurs when the left ventricle, the heart's main pumping power source, is gradually weakened. When this occurs, the heart is unable to pump oxygen-rich blood from the lungs to the heart's left atrium, into the left ventricle and on through the body and the heart has to work harder. Two types of left-sided heart failure. Systolic failure with reduced ejection fraction. Systolic failure occurs when the left ventricle cannot contract forcefully enough to keep blood circulating normally throughout the body, which deprives the body of a normal supply of blood. As the left ventricle pumps harder to compensate, it grows weaker and thinner. As a result, blood flows backwards into organs, causing fluid buildup in the lungs and or swelling in other parts of the body. Diastolic heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. Diastolic heart failure occurs when the left ventricle has grown stiff or thick, and it is unable to fill the lower left chamber of the heart properly, which reduces the amount of blood pumped out to the body. Over time, this causes blood to build up inside the left atrium, and then in the lungs, leading to fluid congestion and symptoms of heart failure. Signs and symptoms. Initially, Signs of left-sided heart failure can go unnoticed, but they worsen over time. It is important to see a physician for regular checkups for an early diagnosis and treatment to manage signs and symptoms of heart failure. Left unchecked. This condition can cause complications including kidney and or liver disease and heart attack. Left-sided heart failure symptoms include awakening at night with shortness of breath. Shortness of breath during exercise or when lying flat. Chronic coughing or wheezing. Difficulty concentrating. Fatigue. Fluid retention causing swelling, or edema, in the ankles, legs and or feet. Lack of appetite and nausea. Rapid or irregular heartbeat. Sudden weight gain. As these symptoms occur, they cause the heart to try to pump harder, which causes further damage such as. Enlarged heart. Rapid heart rate. High blood pressure. Less blood flowing to the arms and legs. Causes. Left-sided heart failure can be caused by underlying health problems, ranging from mild to severe. Most commonly, left-sided heart failure is caused by heart-related diseases such as coronary artery disease, CAD, or a heart attack. Other left-sided heart failure causes can include cardiomyopathy, cocaine use, diabetes, heavy alcohol use, high blood pressure, obesity, sleep apnea, tobacco use, risk factors. Risk factors for left-sided heart failure can include age. Men between the ages of 50 to 70 often experience left-sided heart failure if they have previously suffered a heart attack. Aortic stenosis. When the aortic valve opening narrows, it slows blood flow and weakens the heart. Blood clots. A clot in the lungs can cause left-sided heart failure. Cardiomyopathy. Heredity can cause several types of this disease that can weaken or damage the heart. Congenital heart defects. Structural heart defects may prevent proper blood circulation from the heart. Chronic diseases. Diabetes. HIV, hyperthyroidism, hypothyroidism, or a buildup of iron or protein can lead to left-sided heart failure. Gender. Men are at greater risk of developing left-sided heart failure. Irregular heartbeats. Abnormal heart rhythms, especially if they are very frequent and fast, can weaken the heart muscle. Myocarditis. This condition occurs when a virus causes inflammation of the heart. Pericardial constriction. Inflammation causes the pericardium, a sac covering the heart, to scar, thicken and tighten the heart muscle. Previous heart attack. Damage to the heart muscle may affect its ability to pump blood effectively. Race. African American men are at higher risk than others for developing left-sided heart failure.
Some chemotherapy and diabetes medications. Certain drugs have been found to increase the risk of left-sided heart failure. Valvular heart disease. Damage or a defect in one of the four heart valves can prevent the heart from pumping blood effectively. Viral infection. Certain viral infections can damage the heart muscle. Prevention. While you cannot prevent all risk factors for left-sided heart failure, you can take steps to lower, or in some cases even reverse, your risks of diseases or conditions that can cause or complicate left-sided heart failure. Balance your blood sugar. If you have diabetes, watch what you eat and check your blood glucose regularly. Talk to your physician about medications that control blood sugar spikes. Be active. Moderate exercise helps circulation and decreases stress on your heart muscle. Eat a healthy diet. Limit salt, sugar, saturated fat and cholesterol. And eat plenty of fruit, vegetables, whole grains and low-fat dairy products. Get regular checkups. And, if you experience new or changing symptoms or side effects from medications, see your physician. Maintain a healthy weight. Losing weight and maintaining a healthy weight puts less stress on the heart. Reduce stress. Stress can contribute to a fast or irregular heartbeat. Reduce your alcohol intake. In some cases, you may need to stop drinking entirely. If you can drink, keep your intake low. Stop smoking. Smoking damages blood vessels, raises blood pressure, reduces the amount of oxygen in the blood and makes the heart beat faster. Take your medications as prescribed. If you've been prescribed a medication for left side heart failure or a causative condition, be sure to take it as prescribed. Weigh yourself daily. Monitor your weight for sudden gains that can indicate fluid retention. Treatment and recovery. Treatment for left-sided heart failure focuses on managing symptoms and treating underlying causes of the condition and mitigating risk factors for heart failure. An individualized plan of treatment may include medications, lifestyle changes, and surgery for a device implant, heart reconstruction or heart transplant. Depending on the severity of the condition, treatment for left-sided heart failure can include medication. Medications can improve cardiac function and treat symptoms of left-sided heart failure like heart rate, high blood pressure and fluid buildup, as they reduce fluid retention and the loss of potassium, open narrowed blood vessels to improve blood flow, reduce blood pressure and slow a rapid heart rhythm, increase blood flow throughout the body and reduce swelling, reduce fluid by promoting urination, prevent blood clots, Lower cholesterol. Lifestyle changes. A few changes in lifestyle can improve signs and symptoms and the quality of life. It is essential to follow a low sodium, low fat, and low cholesterol diet. Gentle aerobic exercise is also recommended. Surgery and other procedures. If medications are not effective in managing left sided heart failure, or if symptoms are severe, surgery may be necessary. Depending on the condition of the heart and underlying cause of left-sided heart failure, surgical options can include device implants, heart repair or heart transplant. Device implant surgeries for left-sided heart failure. Left ventricular assist device, LVAD, surgery. This device can be implanted to help a weak heart pump more efficiently, and can be a primary treatment or a temporary measure while awaiting a heart transplant. Pacemaker. This device can be implanted during minor surgery to help the right and left ventricle contract normally. Heart repair or transplant surgeries for left-sided heart failure. Congenital heart defect repair surgery. Repairing a heart defect can improve blood flow. Coronary artery bypass graft. CABG. This surgery creates a bypass around your narrowed coronary arteries by grafting arteries or veins taken from other parts of your body, which improves blood flow, stops chest pain and prevents a heart attack. Heart reconstruction surgery. Electric signals travel through a healthy heart, shaped like a football, causing it to contract. 
But heart damage enlarges and stretches the heart to be shaped more like a basketball, affecting electrical signals that make the heart pump less efficiently. Reconstructing the shape of the heart can improve its electrical signaling and functioning.